my country people. This mobile wife, eh, when they call Wumi, she phone you. Wumi come and for probably say she mistakenly shook in husband for neck. Hmm. Ah, wow. How normal woman being will say he mistakenly buy in husband? Well, I don't need to waste you guys' time. Let me just drop the audio with you guys. Um, the first lady that spoke, that, that just uh, talked right now, she mentioned something. She said Mumi made a mistake by killing her husband. Of course, mistakes happen. And to me, I feel like that is what really happened. That Wumi actually made a mistake. And um, and to think of it, Wumi have an um, she has a um, anger money um, anger issue. You know, because if you look at the the voice note and everything that we've been listening to her talk, you can tell she have an um, she has an anger issue. So now, Wumi just need to come out. Because people with the right mind will not say it's bully that killed Mubarak. Why? Um, if what happened happened on on Sunday, and on Tuesday you cry out by saying so they killed your husband, they did they, they did that. But this guy went to a show on Sunday. There was a fight. Of, you said there was. She said there was a fight with um, him and a prime boy. And she narrates what happened that uh, Mubad punched, him, punched uh, the Prado, whatever car, and that's why he has a cut in his hand. That is not what happened. What really happened is there was a fight between Wumi and Mubad. That's what led to his death. Wumi made a mistake by stabbing uh, Mubad in a wrong Fine. place. I never know. And Hold on. someone to help. Hold on. Go ahead. Wumi made a mistake by stabbing Mubad. That's what you said. The accident. By accident. Oh, yes, accident. I'm coming. Yeah. Was there any research from you that is pointing to that? Sorry. Uh, because of the, 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 the analysis that, that was given to us by the police, they said Mubad was bleeding previously. And um, I look at the video that, 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 that uh, what's it called? Prime Boy and uh, whatever they bring out. I analyzed the whole video and I noticed that there was a stab by b b beside uh, Mubad. There was a stab beside him, and he, I think he has like three three places where he was bleeding in his neck as well. He had a stab mm. on his neck. Yes, that was the reason why the, um, his head was bent when he was put into the into the coffin. Like Mubad was stabbed. Yes. By Please, uh, you? you said you, you said it that you said it was Mobile was mistakenly stabbed by Mumi, or probably yeah, Mumi because there was Mobad. Yeah, no, no, Mumi mistakenly stabbed Mobad because there was an argument happening in that house, which is on Monday. I would love Sunday to have night. that proof, please. I would love to have that. Proof. I would love to have that. Proof. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, let me see. I can send it to your uh, to your. D you can send it to me, right? Because yeah, I've not, I'm not got yes, that in, in my over six months of uh, commitment to this case. I've not seen that proof anywhere. Yeah. Oh, you've oh, not seen you've not seen the video that was that I sent out that was said um uh, uh, Mubad is dead. Mubad is dead with this um four guys. Or three okay. Guys no, why no, no, just say, just just forward to me later and continue your analysis because I would love to have that proof. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I mean, so what Wumi is just saying now is just um just trying to divert the attention to people that um that bullied Mubad. You know, that is what she was she's trying to do now. You know, if you know you love your husband all utterly, you should know that no matter what you do, all what you'll be seeking for is justice for your husband. You have kid, you have a child for him. So we, I mean, let, I mean that's what we should believe now. Until we started asking for DNA test, you know what I'm saying? And the DNA test, the way people have been yelling, shouting, and everything, give give me pressure. That is the reason why she's writing all this letter. People have been pressurizing her with all this um, bloggers and everybody talking and everything. That's what. That's the reason why she went out to write this, you know. So all she's just doing now is just to divert people's attention.
concerning the whole thing. Okay, I want you to wrap up, please, so, so that I can pick the next person. I see, I see some people boiling already, so, and a lot of requests in comment session. I uh, over okay. 500 viewers right now. Oh, okay, I mean, so I can't mention the ones that are behind the door. And uh, on, on Facebook, to so many viewers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Facebook people, I greet you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, let's go. Wrap up, please. Yeah, the, the DNA test, if she knows that she wants to do the DNA test, um, she's a Yoruba lady. Oh. You don't have to tell your father in law to go to the court or to go to wherever to get you a paper before you can go ahead and do a DNA test. If you know that the child belongs to Mubad and you want people to stop, um, you know, calling you out, saying all kind of things to your name, just take this baby. You said these are people who are in the music industry, they want to kill you or whatever. If you know that is what uh, you think or what she thinks, she can take the baby to Berekete. And let, Bere and let people know I'm in Berekete. So if anything should happen to me, then she held Berekete responsible because now Berekete will be the one to secure her. That is if she knows she's ready for the DNA. So that's, that is on the DNA part. She's just lying. She doesn't want to do the DNA. That one is obvious. We don't really know what caused the argument between she and Mubad that led to the fight. We don't really know. So people are saying because of the DNA, people are saying because Mubad already found out the baby is not his, and so on and so forth. You know, that is what people are keep saying. And if she want to clear her name right now, if she want people to be looking at the music industry, they don't want to kill Mubad, she should just do the DNA. Once she do the DNA, everything, the other things is going to be diverted from her. Can hear me, Vesto? No, people... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, if she wants, if she just wants um, everything, the attention to be diverted from her, she should go ahead and do the DNA test. Even though people are still going to still be talking about how uh, she's going to kill her husband, at least that one will leave her to tell people that, okay, now I did the DNA test. So, what else do we want? She's supposed to be the one crying, yelling, going to the station every day. Going to the police uh, to come to online to tell people, you guys should hate me, you guys. You know, to me, I felt like the corona inquest was brought up based on the quarrel they have between Baba Mubad, Yamubad, and uh, Wumi. That is what they, that is what the corona, that is what they brought up the corona, uh, the corona inquest for, to me, not for the justice for Mubad. You know, if they feel like they right. want justice, if she feels like she wants justice, she should just do. That all that that oh. just the DNA test alone will help her a lot. I mean, all right, so thank you for that. Talk, um, thank you, God bless you. I will still allow you to talk now later. Um, I greet you, Mr. Andy. I greet you, have not Yabiji. Welcome. I greet uh, Big Good Omolayo. Welcome, Annie Asuko. I greet you. Queen Treasure, God bless you. Uh, Facebook people, like I said, I'll get this to you. Please don't be offended. I greet all of you. I see you plenty, uh, Adufioki, Prince, uh, Babs, Adeleke, um, I see Ebu, um, I see Muturu Aden, I see, I love you, Karo, Petro, Grace Jolade, Ogun, Kwade, a lot of you, a lot of you, I greet you all, I'm sorry, let's enjoy it. Um, okay, um, let me just speak uh, who? Uh, yes, Anime wants to pass information, she's gone down, okay. Let me pick Annie Asuko. Annie Asuko, please. I can see the boy. But please, who should be dragged? Or oh, let me not say who should be dragged. Leave Wumi. Wumi has been dragged. And Wumi could continue to get dragged until we get just because she's a major actor here. But looking at the nurse, can't Wumi drag the nurse? Who should Wumi drag most? Is it the people in the industry who are not there when... You know, like, or is it someone that mistakenly carried out some things? Who should we be dragging? Anya has to go back to you. Thank you. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Um, mm -hmm. I'd just like to clear up here. First things first. Is that her post there that she put up there was actually strategic. I did analyze somewhere to say that some of the posts, if you read it, you knew that she, I think she sent a draft maybe to a lawyer or someone who had a legal background, and then they corrected it, and then she added her bits. You can see where her bits came in. Um, she's playing up a game, all right? Because if you if you even want to analyze this, it's just stupid. It's just really stupid. If you say they silenced your husband, you were in the house. The nurse came into the house. The nurse was just not anybody. 
you talked on the second paragraph to say that the your husband was scared of the medical uh going to the hospital just say the the, the medical field because he felt that it, they could be compromised and you trust a recommended stranger so to speak to come to your house to treat that, that's very correct who should the who should who should <laughs> she fear is it the recommended or the registered hospital are you making sense Anya <laughs> mm. so you so you trust a recommended stranger to come to your house mm. in a setting where because let's go by her on her you know and train of thought there is no camera mm. so and then you went you went you trusted her that much you went downstairs to do fried rice or make dishes for liam's birthday are you really having a laugh are you mm. stupid that's the question mm. so you see it's that's why i said if you read her message she was just def, she was deflecting at the same time gaslighting she's it was very systemic you know what she's doing she's actually playing up here it's just very obvious you cannot say you your husband was afraid of a medical in and now let's let's analyze this in the hospital there are cameras and apart from um, cameras these are registered doctors that they could have their license stripped if they played any game your husband at the time of death was not a very was they didn't have that notoriety like case daniel or davido where you would say all the whole hospitals on the island, the doctors would have been compromised. Are you yes. really having a laugh? Honey Asuko, let me clap for Ani Asuko. <laughs> Ani Asuko, oh my God, let me just clap. Let it effect, sound effect, clap. Please repeat, 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 Ani Asuko. Please, all the hospitals in Ireland, your husband doesn't trust. All in Nigeria, in the whole of Lagos, so all the doctors who compromise, clap. What level, of, what, level of, what level of stupidity is that? Are you 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 taking everybody that you think they've got a brain fog or they've got chicken brains? They can't analyze. They can't see through that. Come on, man. Let's stop the BS here. You could not have trusted that nurse. And I also did say today that nurse, if the nurse was spending snuff, sorry, that, and even if you listen to the video of or the voice note, whatever that was played about her friend, you can tell that she was lying. Because you cannot say, I'm going to send you Westo. So let's take this example now, right? Mm -hmm. I have a nurse. I know you. Yeah? And you need a nurse. And I would not call my nurse and say, oh, by the way, I need you to go to my friend's place and tell you who this friend is. So are you just going to just turn up there? You didn't know who the person's house is. When you came in through the estate or walked in, or even let's leave, if, even if it was not a gated estate, you would knock on somebody's door and said, oh, I was sent by X, Y, Z because you needed me. Hmm. So if you're feigning ignorance to say you didn't know the person, how do you know what how did you know the roles that each of them were playing? Hmm. <laughs> Fire on. So so you see, if you you but that's why when you look at the statement, you can just see she's playing up. Now let's leave that part. Let's go to the other part where she talked about the industry guys. First, you also said in that first paragraph, you said the guy was mentally, physically, you know, not well. So you were diagnosing him to say that he's got if he's got psychosis or he's got mental disorder, and you you had a nurse that you hadn't checked her qualifications to come in and treat him. Did she check his blood pressure? Do you not think you would have been having heart palpitations? And you needed to have told him. By the way, there was a video that showed that the guy was high. Prime boy statement. Mubad was high that day. Why didn't you dis divulge this information to the nurse? Hmm. This is some stranger that you do not even trust. Hmm. And why was Mubad's nurse unavoidably absent and nobody has heard that oh she called back to say oh yeah i was busy by the way this 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 that 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 because i do remember they said she called her sorry and move away a bit they said they called her and then she said she was not able to come so she could have divulged this guy's you know medical records with that nurse to say oh by the way you need to check his vitals you can check that 
Because mm. let's go by the train of thought. You call this nurse on Tuesday. So, and then I'm going to my fourth point. How were you managing him up until Tuesday? Mm. He had a he had a fight in the show. So what he had he was running temperature. What happened after just it was a minor court corona court uh, corona inquest statement. It was just a minor court. It was nothing serious. What happened after that? Why did you need a nurse? Oh, uh, let me also add to your question that what is the role of all this industry do, industry god all this industry baba from that Sunday. Monday to Tuesday. Are they still on him? Like, I don't know. I just think I should have it. Yeah, you know, the, the industry got to be, I just think it's just, it's just, how do you say? She's just deflecting. Because you're talking about industry gods. If you say they had a role, right? At uh, the day when you were writing eight pages of stuff, you would have mentioned them. You were, you went to the Corona Court. It was very clear and very obvious. You knew your husband had issues with Naira Mali. You knew your husband had issues with Sam Larry, your partner, husband, whatever. F mate, whatever. You, he had issues with those people. You went to the Corona Court, a place where, let's, let's play back. The Corona Inquest was set up by Falana because you cried to him. And in a homicide case, that is the due process. You, do. you open the Corona Inquest for fact finding. So you were in a comfortable place where you could avoid information and not be scared of reprisals because you'd have actually been protected. You denied knowing these people. You mm. said the last fight he didn't speak up. The last fight he had or the last attack was when he was shooting that video where Sam Larry, you saw the person's face. The videos are there. They're very evident. You never mentioned his name. Are you really having a laugh? Mm. The industry gods, part of the industry gods are Sam Larry and Naira Mali. Naira Mali was his previous boss. And you know the fracas, the altercations that happened over, you know, his uh, what? His uh, copyright songs and all of that. So you could have clearly mentioned the name to say, yes, Naira Mali, this and this, I have evidences. And you could have narrated what happened in that show if you want us to believe that, okay, Prime Boy was the lead agent that was sent. So just shut up, man. Come on, like seriously. You know. <laughs> And and well done. God bless you. God bless you. I want you to say more. I want you to say more. But please, for now, let me just um, allow someone else to talk. I don't know if I should allow Iyabiji. Iyabiji, before I go to Big Road. You have the floor, two minutes. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, let us remove emotion for this issue of Mubad. When someone died, dead, you say before Mubad, I Mubad have already died physically, morally. I can even say financially too. Because you people, let's, I cannot say they stab my bad. I cannot say they do, they do this one to my bad. I cannot say they pour water on my bad because I never see, I never see nurse to come out to talk. I'm not there. It's only women can come out and tell us the story. Because she's there 72 hours with her husband. She's, but for, for me to look at it, mommy family, they have already cried that guy. Why 26 years old boy will not have accounts? He will not have bank accounts. Even if in Nigeria, now 15, 10 years old, even baby self, some people will do the education. They will not even touch the education money. They will go and open accounts and put the money there. So that one alone have already given us the, the red flag. The only thing I will say, Mumi doesn't love Mubad. He do, she doesn't love Mubad. She kept, she purposely came because of that guy money. Because you said they are bullying your husband. When you are bullying your husband, some people say your mama is, your mama is police, your mama is a, a vigilante, your mama is a, a yellow fever. I don't know. But your mama is in many, uh, they have power. What 
if what what which influence you people use to rescue this guy when he's alive? So that one alone have already give us red flag. Me, I can't say she he, he, she killed her husband. She she buy her husband. I'm not there. But the only thing I will say because I'm not there that why Bumi doesn't have mobile to have account. Why do you accept it? Why do you why don't tell him? Please, I don't want problem in Fusho. Go and own your own account. He doesn't love the guy. He, he doesn't love the guy. So he's, he's the one in position, even at all. Because that day, I remember true, true. I hear, I hear Samlari Makpe. Samlari will kill you this night. I heard the voice. So I don't know the person who said it. Someone said it. Uh, this night, in Samlari Makpe. Okay, if it's because one of them, because he look, he look, he look, um, he look somehow. Why all of them know they are around? But uh, he is the one who will drive us there. That this is what happened to my husband. Before we can be dragging those people, we should remove the emotion for this issue. Even at all, Sam Lario and uh, Mali, they bully Mupat. Accepted her grade. But it's Wumi who will tell us the story before Alma Faja. Okay, and even at all, if he doesn't even talk, she doesn't say it to finish. You should just give us clue. This is what happened. You should not do long. So, um, 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 and they will protect you. Which person are you fearing? They will protect you. So, for me, it is the and why is she why why is she running for Danny? Is that one? I'm really I don't because me I love kids. I don't want to talk about about someone else's children. But that that thing give it give me a dick. Why are you running away from DNA? Uh, people are saying, yeah, can you do your DNA? Can you do your DNA, children, and put it for Facebook? Mubad is Omogboye. It's worldwide children, not worldwide child now. Mobad is Omogboye. It's worldwide child. So that's no way. And now it's their fault now. If they cannot settle this thing, I make a break before she come to social media. So there's nothing we can do. So that one is her fault. Is mama is mama muba mama muba the baba muba the oh um mama umi or papa umi their family is that is that is that problem? I don't know whether it's king he has the money. I don't know, but I can say me there are some our government people backing umi because who is umi? Who is umi? He said not kill your husband. Why? If it's true, not kill your husband. Why do you allow the nurse to go that night? Why do you allow the nurse to go that night? And for you to wait for nurse for two days. Even said that nurse, sorry to does sorry to use this language. The nurse self, she doesn't have sense. They called you that somebody's sick and they wait for you for two days and you still go back to treat the person. He says of you to as you even reach there, you see that the person is already weak. You tell them and you supposed she's supposed to use her sense. And this person's sick for two days and they are waiting for me. No, you you are the one supposed to even call police. They should come and carry that guy to hospital. So for us, definitely they're supposed to punish her. They supposed to punish her. But Mumi, she never said the truth. Come and carry your trophy. And uh, they came, my husband. You will never tell her the truth. Come out. And say your truth. We are Abia not Abiaga. We forgive you. Come at us. So, justice for me,